that's not the way that Dave says to do it. Dave says to budget for the money before it comes in, as it comes in. You're just cheating. Oof, I'm super animated, so I keep moving the camera around. I'm gonna have to be less animated for this video. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon so you won't miss a single thing I upload. I get this question a lot. Why are you one month ahead? So before I get into why, let me explain what we are doing. The money that we earn in one month goes to pay the bills in the next month. So for example, the money I earn in January goes to pay February bills. The money we earn in February goes to pay March's bills. So why do we do that? Initially, when we started doing this, it was because Mauricio had an irregular income and I could not even function with making a budget when I didn't know exactly how much would be coming in. And it wasn't really a minimum coming in either. It could be some months were super low, some months were high. If something happened to our car, it might be zero. And I could not function with not knowing exactly how much was coming in every single month. It actually added calmness to me because I know if we have a major, major life event, like for example, the tax one that we're going through, we can pull from the next month's salaries and still be okay. So while I do get a lot of people saying that I am cheating the plan, this is the plan that works for our life. And this is the plan that makes me calm. This allowed me to cope with the July and December debacle that was my income. Because as you all know, we are, I am on a bi-weekly paycheck which means in July and December, I get three paychecks. And those three paychecks every month were really messing up my budget. So it really was mental, a mental thing for me to get ahead. As I've always said, make a plan, stick to it. So how did we get one month ahead? Well, I'll tell you, it was, it was rough. It slowed down our snowball by, by months, I think. It took us about four months to save up the extra for my salary. So do I recommend it for people like me that need to know exactly how much they have coming in? Yes, I highly recommend it. Um, it is very, for irregular income people, absolutely. It just creates a peace of mind that you don't, that you can't have when you have an irregular income. I need pizza. So how does this work? As my paychecks go in, I have two running budgets. I have the current budget that we're in and the budget for the following month. And as the paychecks come in, I actually log them in as being received in the following month in every dollar. And that works for me. And then I take that paycheck and I deposit it in my savings account. And I never touch my savings account until all of our paychecks come in. And on the last day of the month, I take all of the money in the savings account and drop it in the checking account. That way on the first day of the month, I am able to pay all my bills. I am able to make all my debt payments on the first of the month. There's very little that I need. I go on the first or the second or the third, whenever works out, to get our cash out for the whole month. And then I fill our envelopes, our cash envelopes immediately. And that's our money for the month, not for the week. So that is what works out best for me. Will it work for you? That's up to you. You only you can know you, but this is what we are doing and this is what works for us. I am precariously balanced on this bed, so I gotta make sure I don't move or camera and everything is going to topple right over. Tonight, we are going to go see the National Christmas Tree, assuming that we can still drive and the snow. The snow is not really accumulating on the roads. It's just accumulating on the grass and the trees and stuff. But um, so we're going to take Melina to see the National Christmas Tree, do some frugal free fun, because I, I just feel like that'll be fun, 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 fun for her. Tomorrow, Melina has her piano recital. My parents gave her piano lessons for her birthday this year, so she has been going to to those and she just is so cute with the piano it's really adorable and she loves it so
So we went the other night to this really awesome Christmas party. Last year I did a, a video on a a swanky Christmas party. Our our family's um, financial planners have a super swanky Christmas party every year. Last year it was at the Air and Space Museum and it's been at the Portrait Gallery and this year it was at the National Cathedral. And so we were super excited to go and it was so much fun. We just had a blast. There was no dancing, but there was good food and it was good. And the dessert bar was even better. Ooh, look, got like a whole ghost thing going on here. Look at that. Ooh. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!